Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about database schema backup and restore. At the end of this video, you will learn how to take a backup of SQL Server database without data. Okay, so let's continue. So why we only take schema without taking data? There are cases where we want to migrate or copy a database from one server to another server without any data or we need only table structure from the test environment to develop an environment or to a production database and to copy one or more tables of a large database in case of large databases you will need to have to take only few tables and then copy to the destination so in those cases we prefer taking schema backup instead of taking entire database backup with data in this video i am going to discuss about two approaches we have one is we are going to generate a script and other one is DAC pack. That is data tier application package. We will first see the first one. We can generate script for schema only, data on only and both schema and data. Here our focus is to generate script for schema only. So let us quickly jump into the demo. Here. I have a database instance and I have few databases so I am going to uh, take a schema backup of this database so before that let me check the list of tables that are present in this database so I have total two tables here let me check the data inside the one of the table so I have total six records let me check in the second table Here I have two records. Okay. Now I need only this table structure, I mean the column names to be copied to the destination server to another instance. So, how would I do that? Just go to the database, right click on it, you have tasks, and then generate scripts. You will get this window. Total, you have four steps to complete this wizard. Click next, and here you can select the required objects, or you can script entire database and its objects. It is as per your requirement. You can select specific table views, stored procedure, or even users. Also, you can select. Here, I'm going with entire database and its objects. Click next. Here you can have four options. You can save it as save as a notebook. You can script the file and save it to your uh, local destination, or you can save to clipboard, or you can open this uh, query in a new query window. So I am going with this option: open a new query window. And here you have an option: advance. Here you can select script use database true and types of data to script here you have to choose your required option data only schema only or schema and data this is what i am talking about this is the option you can choose so here i want to go with schema only if you want to take a backup of a specific table along with its data you can choose a table in the previous step and then you can go with this schema and data option okay and here i want to go with schema only next so this is a summary next you can see here it is finished this is a script you just need to copy the script and run in the destination so I am connecting it to the another instance And just I'm going to run it. That's it. The database will be created along with the table structure. So here I need to change the path because the same path is already existing in the local machine. Let me change the path.
now run the script yeah it is completed now just validate at the destination refresh you can see i have my database ready db123 and in that you will have two tables right but with no data let us verify it see i have only schema that is table structure so here we have only table structure at destination but at source you have table along with the data next we'll see the alternate approach that we are discussing which is a dac pack data tier application package and it is available from sql server 2008 r2 and later versions only i have already made a video on this you can browse through my channel under the playlist ms azure or i'll leave a link in the description you can watch it from there so in this video i have clearly explained what is dac pack and backpack okay however i'll just do a small demo here what is a dac pack and how do we backup uh, table data or database schema backup okay so here for that let me take another database i am taking an example of this mydb database here i have total three tables just right click on this database but let me show you that contents inside one of the table so here i have total 20 rows so i don't need all the data i just need the column names which is table structure or schema so i go to this database right click on it go to tasks and then here you have an option data tier application click on it you will get this wizard here you have total three steps go to next and here give the application name or the database name and choose the path where you want to store this package file so previously we have seen how to generate script now we are going to develop a package where it takes everything under a simple package or one file i can say so you can see the extension of the file is dot dacpack click next this is the dac properties and it is completed finish here one thing in dac pack is here you don't have an option to choose a specific table or objects this is taking entire database schema backup okay go to your destination right click on this databases we have deploy data tier application and and then browse the path browse your dac pack package which you have generated just now here is my package browse it click next you can rename it if you want next and next it is in process deploying your package to the destination it is completed now you can verify at the destination refresh databases you will have mydb databases here it has come you should be having three tables yes i do have now verify whether you have got only a schema or data you can see i have got only schema there is no data at the destination okay so this is how you take
schema backup and restore at the destination. I hope you have understood. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos.